Foreign cars are going fast. I got a black Mercedes. There's no way I'm coming last. Got my wrist blinging in a German. Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Um, so technically, this is meant to be just an intro saying, um, welcome. For those of you that liked my transformation of it, for those of you that liked my transformation video, um, it's just a way to say, get ready for more videos to come. So, um, I got a couple of questions that I'd like to answer. Where the hell are they? I have, there they are. So just a few questions and answers on why I go into fitness, main reason behind me becoming a personal trainer and aspiring to go into bodybuilding. And then after that we're going to do some mad leg session with my boy Cams. And we'll just see how that goes today. So it's pretty much just going to be an intro on a vlog or a leg day. Well, not really a leg day but it's what it is. So, um, first question is, why did I go into body? Why did I go into fitness? Um, main reason why is because I'm among those few people that kind of woke up every day and wasn't really happy with their current physique level. Ooh, that's a tune. Okay, well, I wasn't really happy with my current physique level and. I really needed to improve on that because I was really unhealthy. I was like. 100 kg and 25 percent body fat so literally i was leaning towards that obese side i couldn't run couldn't do nothing like i'll put a picture over somewhere here on how i used to look before so i actually started i became a personal trainer last year april 2017 then I started my fitness journey, but I'll be honest with you, um, I wasn't really serious on it. I was on and off, wasn't really getting any form of change or improvement to my physique until roughly six months after the course. I then decided to actually give it my all and actually take it a lot more serious than I was taking it. So what happened was did my research, figured out how to split, worked on my diet. So around that time, I used to just eat pretty much anything I could get my hands on, like from McDonald's to fucking chocolate to literally just, if I could get my hand on it, I'd eat it. But I was still training, five to, I was still training, but not as effectively as I was training now. So around August, I said, okay, let me be a bit more strict on my training because I think I built up into more of a habit of training. So whenever I didn't train, it felt kind of weird. So um, I started training roughly five to six times a week. I was really strict on it. I was like 100% strict on it. I was always training, would never miss a day at work, would never miss a day training. And then... My physique changed, I became a lot leaner, I became a lot healthier. But I wasn't really happy with where I was then because I felt like I could do so much more. So I became a lot strict on my diet. Started giving it... What the hell is that thing? <laughs> Lord, I'll reply that later. Anyway, so I became a lot more strict on my diet. Started eating healthier but within my calorie range so instead of me just making my diet quite boring I downloaded my fitness pal and worked for a week what could be my calorie range and what could hit my macros protein carbs and fat wise stuck to that started training very hard started training very hard and yeah I finally was able to make my change and this is I'll put somewhere around here this is my current physique level but since I'm kind of bulking right now because um, I'm trying to put on as much size as possible because I'm hoping maybe in a year or two, in a year if possible I could go into more of a bodybuilding well more of a men's physique or even probably men's modeling maybe modeling physique modeling type of work oh, you get me Anyway, so I'll catch you guys later when we go meet my boy um, Cam's over at Pumping Iron Gym at Grove for a leg workout today. One hour later. Love.
like you Be strong To hold the powers of the sun To dream Mythical, so mystical, think what you like 